Hey, how's it going? We are continuing the series where we're taking a look at uh, top contractors, uh, defense contractors in the UK. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, next company that would be Margit PLC and what the company is. It doesn't sound very uh, pro proper, <laughs> I guess, but either way, uh, it says that it's British uh, engineering company. So let's take a look at. Uh, what kind of contracts and uh, what this company is doing, uh, if anything, doing very well when it comes to executing some of those contracts. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look at the company's website and what kind of information I have available there. So it should be accurate information, if anything. Uh, let's start with the company's introduction. Parker is a for, uh, Fortune 250 global leader in motion and control uh, technologies. For more than 10 years, the company has been enabling engineering breakthroughs and led to be better tomorrow. Okay, okay, so if anything, so I like the way how they define it because it's very hard to define your, uh, as a company's core, uh, core expertise, right? So the way how this company define it, it's motion and control. I like it. I like it. So the, the, I like the way how they define it. The other companies that I covered uh, so far, some of those companies were to touch on those pain points and comes to describing or uh, what they can do, right? So uh, some of those uh, top professionals have that. Uh, then they would ask what their core competence is. Uh, so someone would ask and the way how people would define it, I like it though, I like the <laughs> so uh, this company there, I don't know if it makes sense. If uh, you need to uh, explain to somebody what your capabilities are, uh, the way how this company is describing it, I like it either way. Uh, Parker uh, Maggit joined the Parker Aerospace Group in September 2022 following the successful acquisition of uh, Maggit PLC, a world leading uh, leader in aerospace defense and energy. Parker Maggit employs more than 9,000 people for over 37 uh, manufacturing facilities and regions uh, offices worldwide. At the Parker Aerospace, we develop technologies and innovation solutions that enable reliable, uh, efficient, and in uh, sustainable flight. Increasingly sustainable flight. Either way, either for a life cycle of aircraft, including aftermarket support. So full cycle. Our personal uh, our passion for people together with a uh, breadth of different technologies, showing that we make extraordinary happen and continue to shape the future of aviation and partnership with our customers. Yeah, so perhaps that's one way to look at it. I have done some research on trying to understand what would be core expertise. Motion and control, <laughs> but you know, right? that would be more like aerospace, if anything, perhaps defense, energy solution that you need to know when it comes to perhaps how you're gonna power uh, aerospace or the, what would be civil, or that would be more <laughs> defense in this way, either way, as well as a full cycle where they would be able to offer some of those services there. Let's take a look at the, uh, the different areas of what I managed to find about the company and uh, some of the expertise that the company has to offer. Let's start with industry focus. Maggot was known for uh, providing components, but perhaps they still do that. <laughs> no, but either way. Subsystems and systems for aerospace, defense, and energy sectors. The products uh, include sensors, control systems, and other critical components used in these industries because all sectors are very complex or it can be <laughs> for many people, right? So, uh, as well as it comes to companies and some of the parts. Uh, let, uh, to put it <laughs> or give uh, a perspective of things. I don't know if you ever had to purchase a bumper, something like a very simple to, thing to manufacture, if anything. Perhaps there is some things uh, that every manufacturer might offer a little bit different, but it, when it comes to perhaps material cost, right, it would be very cheap, relatively speaking, to manufacture. But some of the companies can charge the customers for $800 or something, or $20,000, <laughs> if anything. So then uh, you would need to sign off <laughs> invoice for $20,000 for a bumper. 
you might as well do everything yourself, <laughs> if anything. So, <laughs> some of those companies just acquiring more and more and just doing more, right? So, this is what it seems as that this is what the, this company is doing. Uh, instead of perhaps <laughs> purchasing 200 bumpers for a price tag of 20,000 inch, they would rather acquire the company itself. <laughs> so. Aerospace and defense, uh, Maggot Aerospace and defense products included systems for aircraft such as flight displays, fire detection systems, and avionics. Uh, they also supplied components for military applications, including defense electronics and monitoring systems. Energy market, in addition to aerospace and defense, Maggot had a presence in energy market. They provide solutions for the monitoring and control of critical assets and power generation, including the turbines and other industry equipment. For example, then uh, if you need any turbines, then it comes to steam or production of energy. Perhaps uh, all the dynamics and everything is very similar markets, from what I understand. Global presence, Maggot operates globally with presence in various countries. The company aims to serve a diverse range of customers and in aviation, defense and energy sectors around the world. So not necessarily limited just to you perhaps local markets. Acquisitions companies in aerospace and defense industry often engage in acquisition to enhance their capabilities. Maggot too had a history of strategic acquisitions to expand its Product portfolio on market reach instead of competing, right? Why why not acquiring other companies if you can? <laughs> Some interesting facts or perhaps news that I managed to find on a company's website. Some of the rec most recent work. Uh, uh, <laughs> if those companies do care that much about publicity, I'm not entirely sure if, if, if it matters and the publicity for those, most of those companies, since uh, then uh, those companies do work for the government. Uh, I don't know if they need to spend any money on marketing, right? <laughs> Other than perhaps uh, quality and products might be way of marketing the products and services, right? So how well they can accomplish some of those contracts. If they're doing great work, perhaps then they would receive a lot of work. It's just because I've been trying to find uh, some information about some, some of those companies out there. There isn't a lot. Either they keep changing owners of there, as well as uh, acquisitions, acquiring other companies, increasing the market share. There's a lot of things happening, so it's very hard to find any information about those companies. Uh, just some of the information that I managed uh, to find about on the company's website, about the company and the most recent news, right? Market awarded 16 million contract for carrier drive as, uh, assemblies from the Defense Logistics Agency. So it's something that they constantly acquire, perhaps new contracts, and uh, some of those contracts again, can be with the uh, United States, not necessarily just with the UK, and the core confidence would be our space, right? As well as there's a massive market uh, available up there, the, from my understanding. The UK has large markets when it comes to our space. Uh, Germany, France, Italy, some other European countries, as I know of. Uh, <laughs> there's so, so many opportunities available up there. Even if the, uh, they would contract a team of perhaps 12, 15 people, they would contract those for 24 months and they would uh, need to reinvent or improve existing technology and how they can do that. <laughs> Just some of the contracts there. If anything, for people who are watching this video, there is an opportunity to enter into a part. Uh, if anything, announcement is apprenticeship open day at Parker. Maggot uh, starting perhaps from Saturday 11th of February. So some of working is up there. In particular, if you are based in Coventry, there seems like there is a big <laughs> logistics hub when it comes to distributing of uh, products right there. That's where they manufacturing a lot of things as well as I have noticed there's a lot of uh, hubs uh, based within the area when it comes to energy storage so there, there, there are opportunities up there for engineers if anything <laughs> so there will be some takeaways if you are interested in learning more about your body i have published a book uh, project fit flow in this book i'm sharing a lot of information when it comes to your body 
and everything what you would need to know about this hardware that we're all carrying around uh, uh, from uh, what calories, what food you should be eating, uh, what kind of results you would be interested in achieving with uh, that amount of energy as well as once you have <laughs> enough energy you can focus on uh, rest periods as well as uh, working out and lifting weights and what we require when it comes to lifting weights, what are different um, ways how you can approach uh, exercises or putting some stress on your body and how your body will adapt depending on the stress and what kind of stress you put uh, physically on your body <laughs> and how you can improve your body if it's something that you're interested in learning more you can find this book in the description below as well as top retailers has it I'll try to touch on different areas of expertise of what this company is focusing on. That would be advanced composites as well as avionics, braking systems, commerce and security, condition monitoring, defense systems, fire protection and control, engine systems, electrical power, motion control, fuel systems, safety systems, sensors, ceiling solutions, thermal management, uh, aftermarket services. But that's not necessarily limited to those. So if you have any particular problem, feel free to reach out and perhaps some of those companies out there might be interested in solving uh, your problem. But uh, again, <laughs> how big the problem needs to be, right? Uh, sometimes only governments can afford to uh, reach out to some of those companies there <laughs> based on the solutions that they are looking for. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.